be remodeled. Um, when I built the thing, there was no thought planning involved at all. I just dumped a load of wood on the floor and started uh, putting things together. And, uh, you know, I was running trains okay and everything. You know, I wing everything, you know. So I'll, I'll put it together, run it for a while, see what bugs need fixed, and then fix them. Um, I don't really plan a whole lot on this layout. I just uh, get a vision in my mind of basically what I want it to look like. A few scenes here, a few scenes there. Um, I want to run long trains or, you know, 30 car maximum trains anyway with uh, multiple unit consists. Um, I'm phasing out the steam moving into diesels, but the early diesels um, probably start, you know, maybe next year or something and start running more modern equipment, more modern rolling stock. But for now, I'm going to stick with the, uh, the latter part of the transition era where most of the railroads were in the diesel already. But, um, anyway, my plan is for this peninsula behind me is uh, putting a view block. As you can see, it's really hard, and I'm a tall guy with a long reach. I can't reach hardly anything past there, and sort of burn out on getting up on a step stool and doing all that. So my plan is to go from this side of this window and using a masonite backdrop, come around just within reach. Just around here, I've got this track ballasted back here. Um, and I really can't scenery, put any scenery in here because this window is bogus. I should have just tore it out and studded it in and sheetrocked and patched it. But I didn't have the energy to do that at the time. I just wanted to get the layout built. But I'm going to run a view block from, from here. And it's going to go, you know, within my reach and follow the radius, this radius here. And it'll probably stop somewhere in here, in the center of the peninsula. The turntable's coming out, the roundhouses are coming out, the engine facility's coming out. Um, the coaling tower is coming out. All the service facility structures are coming out, and they'll be located on a different part of the layout. Probably the newer part of the layout, and that's probably going to get remodeled as well. But that's not, not happening right now. But anyways, I'll do the view block, stop it somewhere in there, um, within reach. I'll be back in here somewhere, and and then the view block will come within my reach, you know, this way. And see from here, I can I can barely reach this structure here. There's no way I can reach that turnout, but I do have a bullfrog underneath it. I got a bullfrog here, and the view block will will go on this side of the window, and it'll radius out and meet up with the other the other one coming so i won't have to really do anything i'm thinking about eliminating this bar well this inner part of the the, the loop here this is my engine facility y is what i call it because it does y around i'll probably eliminate these tracks here i'll keep these two tracks but as i say i won't need to put any scenery there or anything so that'll make life easier. The road will continue and it'll eventually come here. My plan's still the same to come off of this turnout here. And there'll be some kind of an industry here, but it'll wire around and come here. This turnout here is a curved turnout and it'll also come around here. And I haven't decided or thought of any plan for over here yet. I've got a few ideas, but other than that, I'm not going to do anything with that right now. My main problem, it's been a problem for a year or better now. It's just, I, I can't reach. So, I'm definitely going to view block it. This is all going to change. All this is gone. Um, and I think for the better. This, this, this track here is going to be gone. This track here is going to be gone. And all this will be gone here. This this track will stay. This track up here will stay. 
the double main here is going to stay. I've got a yard ladder here that I may or may not keep. Um, no big deal. I just uh, replace this turnout here with a piece of uh, straight track. Um, this crossing will stay. This turnout will stay. All this will stay. This double will stay. I don't know if I'm going to do anything here. I might put a third main in. Uh, I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Um, this will stay. This is definitely coming out. I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. It, it was an experiment and it failed to my, uh, to my liking. So I'm not going to do that. I'll keep the bridge and the abutments. Those are all scratch built out of balsa wood. Um, I'll relocate them somewhere else. Um, I don't know if I'll keep this. I might, might not. I might tear this out. Um, yeah, all these tracks will come out. Um, these are all fast tracks turnouts that I built, so I'll reuse those. Um, all these tracks will come out. I'll reuse all the flex. Um, I used the uh, caulking to stick them down with, and it comes up real easy with a uh, real sharp putty knife. I mean, I can reuse it. Um, all the whisker tracks, I can reuse those. I can reuse them. Almost all this track for fill in pieces or whatever. Um, but yeah, this is all going to get demoed out right here. And uh, I'll have a B block come around this way and zip around that side. And I'll probably um, put a piece of blue foam in here just to take up that space. But you know, my B block will be this high at least, as, as high as the rest of it is. And it'll, it'll radius here, radius there, and it'll give the, the layout a better appearance and everything. So that's, that's, that's my plans. I don't know when I'll get started on it. Uh, the room's pretty trashed right now. Um, I'm excited to do it. So maybe tomorrow before I come home from work, I'll, uh, I'll rip me a couple of pieces of masonite and uh, start taking some of the structures out and putting those away for future use. I'll store them over there on some of that bench work over there for a while and uh, we'll get going because uh, and then and then I also have the ability after I demo this out to cut an access hole in here just big enough to stick my head in there or or whatever to reach up in case I get a derailment inside the tunnel or, or inside the view block on either of these two lines I'll be I'll, I'll be able to access the train from from in a hole that you're not going to be able to see because of the, the new view block. So that's the plan for this peninsula. Like I said, I don't plan anything. I try it for a while, and if I find difficulty with it, I'll redo it, I'll fix it. So that's my plan is to fix it. Um, let me show you the, the other part where I, where I have been working over there. Um, can't see it real good from this view, so I'll move the camera. Excuse me for uh, shaking up the, the video a little bit. But uh, this, I'm going to leave all this. I'm happy with all this work back here. This, I'll finish up. I'll finish up this. I'm, I'm happy with this. This is not going to change. Um, the track work is good, tight. Um, this section over here, on this side of the view block, is going to stay. I like it. I've got me an access hole through here. But what I might do is come off of the side of this side of the view block and put something here and leave a void back here because it's going to be way too hard to put scenery back in that little corner back there, so I'll probably take another piece of meat tonight and run it, run it around here and put a tunnel porthole here and a tunnel portal there, and then I still have a whole access in case I have derailment or issues with the turnouts or whatever, I got an access point there. So that's probably also going to be part of the remodel deal, is just to add a piece of meat tonight here. And this right here is still going to be my, uh, my coal mine area which uh, you can't see from, from that camera shot, but 
but over against by the door here. This this is all going to stay the same. Like I said, I'll put a V block here, come around. We've got an access hole to access any problems in there. All this track work's going to stay here. Um, we've got this tunnel hole right here for my highway that's going to come out somewhere. I haven't got this planned out in my head what it's going to look like. I've got the double tra double track main tunnel portal coming out. All this is going to stay. Got the turnout coming this way. We're going to have a turnout here going here. And this secondary main or short line is going to come through and tie into this. And there's probably going to be an industry over here somewhere. But um, it's all going to tie back into a turnout over there, which is part of a reversing loop that I have yet to wire up. I've been you know, being lazy, so, you know, working long hours. Come home, don't want to do much of nothing but eat, take a shower and relax. So, uh, you know, the days are getting longer, so I'm probably going to start doing more stuff in here. You know, um, as soon as that sun goes down, it's just a human human instinct that, you know, it's, oh my God, it's 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, you know, I need to go to bed, but that's not the case. It gets dark now about 5.30 or 6, somewhere in there, and, uh, Boy, as soon as that sun drops below the mountains, it seems like it's uh, it's already midnight, but it's not. It's just a psychological thing that we all go through. And I'm not, and I never get used to it. But uh, yeah, all this is gonna stay the same. And uh, I have fixed all my uh, PM42s. I uh, actually. Uh, soldered the, the leads that plug onto the 44 pin connectors with Atlas end scale rail joiners for a, like a spade connector instead of direct soldering each wire for rail A, B to the 44 pins. It's much easier to plug them in and unplug them. Um, I'm happy with the results. They work. I had a short on one of them because I had a bridged solder joint from one of the pins to another pin. And since I've redone it, uh, everything works beautiful. So, um, you know, until the next update, uh, next month, hopefully I'll get on the ball and uh, quit procrastinating and get some things done, get some more videos out, some how-tos. Uh, thanks for being patient with me. Um, hope you guys have a, a great week. Happy model railroading. And... Uh, you know, enjoy your, the rest of what weekend you have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment. I uh, appreciate any uh, suggestions, um, you know, tips, whatever. Just post them on my uh, YouTube channel uh, comments deal, and I'll read them, and I'll get back to you.